Good morning everyone, hope everyone is doing okay this Saturday morning. Can you believe it's the 1st of February today already? January just seems to go by so quickly. But I'm glad in a way because I hate January. Because there's a lot of places that are open and something like that. So um, the kids break up two weeks on Friday I think it is. For half term that's going to be scary because then when they go back it would be the countdown to Easter. I'm um, Sammy's birthday. I'm um, going to try and do something nice for Sammy's birthday. Um, obviously, we're not going to say what it is because obviously, Sammy watches the vlogs. So it be a nice surprise for him. It's something that he, he's always wanted to do. And I thought it would be something different for him as well. So, anyway, yep. So, at the minute, um, Sammy's playing on fours. You're playing on fours, sweetheart? Yeah. Yeah, he's playing on fours. What's he doing? Win? He's still in winter or something at the minute, so let me carry on doing that. He's quite happy playing on that. And then Ben is just on his on his gym ball playing with the spring. Probably, probably hear him actually. He's, but he's I'm hitting the spring on the ball, but he's he's happy. That's the main thing anyway. And then me, I got to catch up with some washing. This little bit down there today is so happy that it's fixed, which is one good thing. I'll get the boys some lunch because um, then when he comes home from work, boys heading straight to Aldi. Got to do a gluten free pizza for Ben. I had Tesco the other week and they had loads reduced. Um, being obviously gluten free, they're expensive, so suck them in the freezer and they're absolutely fine. And I don't mean Sam are going to have yet, do not they? So, so yeah, so just an LD now. Um, look at the Super 6. Got some mangoes, some cabbage, some carrots, some plum tomatoes, and some onions. So, yes, yeah, so we can get our bananas. We're going to like them green. So we get three packets of those. It's been calmed down a little bit now. Don't know what's wrong with it. We had a big major meltdown coming out. So I don't know if it's teenage drops or if this wasn't like coming out. So I get some of those. Well, that's it. And there's my dead one. I said, at least Alvin's quite quiet, which is one good thing. So we've got to tell you what that chewy thing has got. It's ideal for him, isn't it? I know we need some grapes a few hours away, don't we? That'd be all right. Need some apples, Sammy? Thank you, Sammy. Get some apples, my darling, please. Got some mushrooms, darling. Yeah. Do you want to stir fry again this week? Are we going to stir fry this time? Well, I've got enough food in together. Oh, no, I feel like we're having the same thing every day, you know. Yeah, yeah. Cucumber are right for, broccoli are right for, aren't we? We need some potatoes. Do you want to get, some get some potatoes? Yeah, I do like those. So they are really nice. So we don't get two packets of those because the kids actually get rental for these, don't they? Yeah. I know, yeah. oh, could do, will they? Mm. Oh, they're different, aren't they? Home yeah. potatoes. Come on, don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too much, I don't want to stress them out too much. Yeah, don't get some Brussels this week. Yeah, Six of TP. Got some meatballs or some burgers or anything? Uh, not today. No. You've had some chops? Same old thing, innit? They're not too bad. I don't want to have chops for a while. You know what? These are different. Um, Aero brought out some chocolate mini eggs. They're really good. 99p. Quite expensive, but I don't know what they are. Obviously, got the, the um, dairy milk, Oreo, and this looks orange smarty. What beans at home? What are they? Missing everything. It's going past. Walking past everything. M&M, mini eggs. They're different, aren't they? We've been. Oh, let's go down this way. It's right here. Got some ready to ready to walk rice noodles. A different 79p, aren't they? Quite nice. What these ones here? They're um, hmm. They're rice ones. So different actually. Because keep fairly really eating the same old things over and over again. Most to have something with rice, I think. Hi, Sammy. You right, Ellen? Yeah. Obviously they've still got all their baby event on here as well. What's this thing here? This is quite good. A colour changing bath book. <laughs> Look, don't they for little little kiddies and things like that. Hey, what have they got any like fab lollies? Or their equipment because Sammy loves fab lollies and nowhere seems to sell them anymore, do they? I know they're like um clippos and things, aren't they? We've got family favourites who are in there. I don't know, there's it there is there, so Anyone anyway, need some frozen fruit for us three days again? Have got enough frozen fruit? Have in I got there. enough? I don't think so. I've got enough in there. Have I got enough in there? Okay, I don't think I have, but never mind. I know you've got enough in okay, there. Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? That winterberry crunch. 
crumble. You put it in there, a hand chocolate cheesecake. Let's see that. Here, do we get some double cream? Put some double cream with it. We will do. We do want to try that strawberry, stra strawberry swirls cheesecake up there. Mm. Get that one, that's it. So, see, I tried to fill it up quite nicely. Um, it's nice and quiet now. Ben's come south right down. I don't know what Matt was in was. He just had the big maze there. Get some leaks and double cream, then, darling. Go head down here. Come on, Sammy. You alright, darling? Yeah? I think we're right for eggs. Sugar, I think we need some. I'll tell you what, I was going to make a list, but I just totally forgot all about it this time. I definitely need to make a list. Because we've probably forgotten half the things we actually need to get. And there we are, different right for eggs. And that's a definite. What have I got down here? They've got those things that Ben loves. Yeah, tell you what, Ben absolutely loves these gluten free macaroons. I like Mrs. Crimble ones. Let's see, they're locked too, they're only 85p. I think the um, Mrs. Crimble one's about £1. £1.75, £2, I think. they got that one there, and they also get some chocolates. So I'll get in one of each for him. You can see, Susan does some packing for shopping now. Um, what a stressful shopping trip, wasn't it, from Aldi today? Really don't know what the matter with him was today. Um, bless her. I don't know her name. What's her name? Do you know what her name is in Aldi? I don't know, but Sammy loves going to her every week. And she said, it's she she's never seen Ben kick off like that before actually like Mark does. She says she can hear him and things like that what he does, but bless her. She even asked her there's anything, there anything wrong in the shop and stuff, didn't she today? Yeah. Bless her, but no. He was he kicked off as soon as he got in the car. He started grumbling as soon as you put his shoes on. So I don't know if it's one of those where he's coming down with a cold or nothing like that, because fortunately Ben can't tell us if he's not feeling hundred percent, so I think they know the story. I know. But so like I said, Sammy's got a cold, so it's a leaded pool. But Ben's probably going to get something and stuff. Are we? So anyway, he's stuck some reason to put this away. You can see the kettle's boiling for a cup of tea. And Sam wants to find a wee with him, so I might do that. you got your football to find, don't you? Watch somewhere if you can yeah, find the stream. i sit down now because I've had enough this week. You've had a bit of a busy day at work as well, so that's all you need. So yeah, so Stephen's sat in front of the computer. He's managed to find a stream, watch the Liverpool game. How they're playing, rubbish. Good. Alright, but Southampton seem to have a better, more edge. Oh, do they? Mm. Okay. So, oh yeah, so, you're not saying, you reckon this might be the day they lose points, they lose, drop, whatever? I find that quarter to five, how you get on. So, anyway, here's Mr. Ben. It's a lot happier now. Um, aren't you, Ben Jay? You right now? You did like shopping at Aldi today, did you? You didn't like Aldi today? No! That lady who we normally go to, Ben, she thought she'd upset you in some way. She did. At least you're a happy boy now, aren't you? Which is fine, good thing. So, anyway, it does seem to prove it's totally different to Ben, doesn't it? That does cause his meltdowns. What I want to do is create a food diary, Ben, see what he's eating. Yeah, and then we can pinpoint it down because I'm thinking, is it dairy? Is it dairy with Ben as well as gluten? You know what I mean? But just that, the rest of us think, I don't think I think we can narrow it down to see what happens from there. So, anyway, let's, let's get Stephen back. You can find a really, find a really good stream. And yeah, I don't understand. Tell you what, the reason why they don't show these games on the telly on the Saturday afternoon is they worry about attendance. Do they? Yeah, the thing is, years and years and years ago, they used to have that Prem Plus season yeah. ticket. That was something else that was shown. Well, you know, the half past five game was on. Oh, yeah? yeah? That was shown on Prem Plus. Oh, that, that was? Yeah. Okay. But now, in theory, you're still paying for it because you've got PC Sport as an extra payment. Yeah, that's new, aren't you? So. I just wish football will be put back all on one service and that's it. I know. Or, like the WWE Network, where you pay so much a month, we have everything that I mean. How much do you have or something like that? They okay. can have access to all the library of all the old football games. I do something where they don't do that with nap, you know? So, anyways, let's see what Sammy's up to. You're right, sweetheart. What are you up to, darling? You've got a cold. You've got a cold, haven't you? Don't do that. That's disgusting. You asked for a tissue. Yeah. That's where that red mark's gone on your face, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the tissue. Let's go get you a tissue. Yeah. I put a 
I put some pseudo cream on your face, wouldn't we? That'll help get the redness away, wouldn't yeah, it? Do so you know what? It's weird. But... Okay, you just heard that score. Little probably just scored. <laughs> um, it's a bit weird. This is the first year that Sam has not had the flu jab because um, when the times were, we couldn't do because um, obviously Steve was working and couldn't get and stuff. But like I said, this is the first year he's not had the flu jab and he's come down with colds and things. Last year, the flu jab, we didn't get anything. So it just goes to prove having the flu jab does actually help. Um, so you'll be alright. I want you to die in a couple of days. Give you lots of yeah. cow yeah, and you'll be fine, won't we? Have, have a nice lazy day tomorrow as well, aren't we? So, and what do you want for tea tonight? Some Mummy, Dad, pies. you got that in? Five pies. I want your chicken and creep pies. Yeah. yeah. Ben's not having the pastry. No, Ben's not having one of those, is he? Ben's got, his, Ben's got his own, hasn't he? Ben's got his corned beef hash thing he likes. So then, guys, that brings Saturday's vlog to a close. And, um, yep, yeah, I am excited, guys. 22 points clear now. Can you believe it? I tell you, Liverpool are on fire this season. I tell you, they would have won it last year if it wouldn't have been for that loss against City. Um, it's only 11 millimetre goal they had disallowed. I remember that like it was, um, you know, yesterday. But this season's been remarkable for them. I tell you, I just, I sit there and I see another win. I go, okay, let's carry on to the next one. But oh, guys, I am so excited for when they left that Premier League title you know 30 years has been a long time and um, 30 years ago I was just leaving primary school to move on to secondary school so just to see it happen again is is good because I had a feeling it was never ever going to happen again was it? <laughs> it's not the song's there something's got to give yeah. <laughs> hello it's nice to actually see you get in Excited, didn't it? Because I know last year you was getting excited. So they lost it by one. Was it 1.2? 1.2 points, isn't it? So, it was didn't cross the line, but I just like. Oh, that. yeah, something like that, wasn't it? But it's nice it's nice to see you actually enjoy it. The only problem is when you're on the telly and we're out, we have to make sure we're back in time to watch them. So I'd be glad we're on the end of the season, especially um, now getting towards like, all the summer holidays. and. Don't all forget the, the Euros weather. are on this summer. Oh, yeah, but don't forget that Wimbledon as well. So. And the Olympics. And the best, but, yeah, the Olympics are pretty good, though. Yeah, so, don't forget yeah, there's football involved in the Olympics as well. Yeah, because I know. And apparently Mo Salah is probably going to get called up to play for the Egypt team in the Olympics. Oh, is he? Yeah. That'd be quite good, though, wouldn't it? So. That all depends if he wants to do it. You know, it's up to him. That's what it is, isn't it? But anyway, yeah, you know, 30 years is such a long time to wait to win this. You know, I never thought I'd see it again in my lifetime, but it looks like it's going to happen unless there's been a, there'd be a massive, like, absolute, you know, total, you know, F up, shall we say. <laughs> I can't imagine Liverpool doing that, though, can you? No. Well, the next fun. game's against Norwich away, so... Uh, yeah, now they're on their their break now for a week so we look forward to seeing the young kids play on Tuesday against Rosebury Town at Anfield so hopefully they can do do us justice and then also our local team Northampton Town if they can win their replay against Derby they get to play that team I don't like very much it's a Man United, <laughs> United yeah. that's at Northampton though isn't it it will be at Northampton, Northampton yeah. yeah it's going to be quite a good game for you too, won't it yeah, and uh, you never know, maybe Northampton can do us justice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I hope I see if that'll happen, but I've got a feeling Northampton will lose to Derby. But anyway, yeah, yeah guys, just typical Saturday again, off to Audi. Ben losing his temper, and once again, it's down to toileting issues because hey, he's lesson. exploded in his doodah three times this afternoon. And he's happy as well, probably hear him now, look there he is. Play with his instrument, bless him. Yeah, it's amazing, you know. I would not want to be in his situation where he, you know, physically can't use to go to the toilet. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I don't care if you get comments coming out of saying, oh, you should try with him, but when someone's mentally disabled and doesn't understand how to use the toilet, then, you know, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, so not being asked, we, we've tried, obviously, obviously when we changed this um, nap, we have to stick him on the toilet. I know school do exactly the same, so, so it's not as if we haven't been trying, we have been. We'd love to get him out of nappies, wouldn't we? We really would. We'd love to but get him out. It's up to him, he's got to start 
understanding the meaning of life. He has. Bless me for the sandwich trying to help us. And he said, look, Ben, you do what I do and stuff, that sort of thing. But mm. no, um, so hopefully as his communication gets better, because he is, he just means communication is getting better. Hopefully he might be able to communicate in some other ways so that he needs to go to the toilet, that sort of thing. Because not being nasty, he actually knows now when he's wet. He knows when he's dirty. And he really loses his rack. He it? does, yeah. So hopefully they've known in a few years' time. He might be. But well, just... fingers crossed, guys, because, you know, it really does get tiring and stressful when he's in that mood. It does. And, uh, yeah, you know, not being nasty to me and Cheryl, but we haven't really had a night off together since our fifth wedding anniversary, and we've just gone past our tenth wedding anniversary. I know. You know, I can't trust anyone to look after Ben, especially when he's in that mood, because, you know, I don't just don't trust, you know, as simple as that. Now, I'm his dad, I should be bringing him up. Oh. Well, you just dropped the phone there. <laughs> Sorry, a bit wobbly. So. You just dropped the phone there, didn't you? So, <laughs> yeah. so but anyway, yep, so, so we're in the vlog here now. Um, we get the boys ready for bed and watch the masked singer. I tell you what, that is quite funny, oh, actually. Crap. You don't like it, do you? I do. And so, I don't know if people in America and stuff like that have got the same. Both here is obviously like celebrities dressed up in costumes and stuff like that. Um, not last week, we before there was a tree, wasn't there? And it was quite funny. Boring. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it made boring. I oh, know. And um, I'd rather watch X Factor like that. It'd be much easier. And what I'm trying to say is, it's funny, wasn't it? Because Ben was looking at the tree, confused, and can sing a tree. <laughs> that was quite funny, actually. So anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for joining us. Tomorrow's going to be a lazy Sunday, and uh, I hope you come and join us. And look at Simon's for the car, bless him. Yeah. He wants to make some, he wants to make some cakes, doesn't he? Because we went to well, he picked up some frozen cake things, doesn't he? Mm. So he wants to make those. So. Okay, see you tomorrow, Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.